I'm the first to admit that I love Amazon, but there are also tons of small businesses that I'm simply obsessed with. So in today's video, I'm sharing my top 12 favorite small businesses that I think you're going to love. All of these businesses cater to the home and they are so freaking incredible. I think you're gonna fall in love. If you're new here, hello, my name is KB and I'm your interior design fairy godmother and I show you how to achieve the Lux Look for Less. If that seems up your alley, please smash that subscribe button because I have new videos like this every Monday and Friday and I'd love to have you as a member of our community. So first we're going to start with the company that I think I first purchased from when I had literally any money to spend and that is 8th Generation. So if you're unfamiliar with 8th Generation, they are a Seattle based company that creates native goods. So they were so tired of native inspired goods and they sell 100% native made goods. So 8th Generation sells things like blankets, bath towels, candles, enamel pins, fine art prints, jewelry, kitchenware, mugs, notebooks, pillows, scarves, socks, totes, gift goods, they sell everything. The only thing that I've ever purchased from there is actually blankets because I'm a textile girl, you guys know this. So what I love about them is they have obviously pieces of art created by all of the artists that they support. And this Orca blanket, they've been selling it for two or three years now. It has a rainbow fridge, but then it's also black and white. It washes beautifully. It looks great on a bed, on a sofa, in a basket. I just love this piece. I would even like mount it on the wall. That's how good looking it is. And under all of the listings, they have like a little story about how the artist came up with the idea or where it came from so that you're actually getting to support an artist directly through that company. So huge fan there. Next, I wanna talk about Agape Candles. I connected with Rachel, the owner of Agape Candles, I think in the very beginning of my influencer journey, I think I had like maybe 5,000 followers on Instagram and she had 20,000 and I was like, this lady's famous, why is she talking to me? I was so excited back when like things like that got to my head. I was young back then, okay? So anyway, she owns Agape Candles. It's run out of Northern California. She and her husband run it together and they have two beautiful children and they're just like really fantastic human beings, first of all. But these candles are the bee's knees. They had one recently that was like peony scented. It was so good that I bought like, I think 10 of them. She sent me one for free, which she's one of the only companies I accept PR from because I know I'm gonna buy something to offset um, the PR she sent me because I always spend hundreds, hundreds every time I go on that website. But it was a peony scented one. It was so good that I bought six or something like that before I even shared the link because that's how badly I wanted them. I was being selfish and I'm really ever selfish when it comes to deals and stuff like that. But her candles are amazing. I think the peony one, La Vie and Peony is what it's called, La Vie and Peony. So that one is my favorite, followed by Mojave, and then Bali is also good, but this is something I send to everyone. I just send some to my mentor. Like, they are so good, I send it to my mentor. She lives in Canada. It, it cost $70 for me to ship it there from the, like I had them at my house, $70 just to ship them. And it was worth it because she is going to be inundated with the most beautiful scent to grace planet earth. And I will say that Agape Candles doesn't just have candles. Well, one, they have three different size candles. Um, also nothing in today's video is sponsored. I'm just so hype because I love these brands so much, but three different size candles. They have room mist, they have wax melts, they have, they have everything. But Rachel's amazing, her husband's amazing. Uh, there is not a company that like I would want to support more. And the product just like is incredible. I have a candle like burning on my candle warmer 24 seven and 90% of the time it is an agape candle. Now, if it's not an agape candle, it's gonna be a Lulu candle. I've actually shared this brand before because they do sell on Amazon, but you can always buy directly from the websites of some of these people because a lot of them sell on Amazon and on their own website. Lulu candles just gives me like Labo vibes. So I don't know the correct word, so I'm just ignorant when it comes to this, but these candles smell so much. Like for one square footage, they do a great job. There is a word for this, but I like can't even figure out what to type into Google to get it. And when I remember it, I'm gonna feel like such an idiot. These candles are really good. Do they smell identical to the Labo? Hell no. But are they like really unique scents that are very relaxing, very sultry, very sexy? Also yes. Also yes. They're really wonderful. Another company that was like, do you wanna go on my PR list? I do not, I wanna support you. But the Lulu candles are awesome, would definitely recommend. I would say they're at like a lower price point than the Agape candles, but the Agape candles last for longer. If you're kind of oscillating between the two, but I think it's worth kind of investing in both because they are really fantastic. Next, I wanna talk about Preston Lane. So I recently found this brand because I recently found the owner of the brand. His name is Preston Conrad. And I saw one of his reels and I was like, okay, I like that follow, immediate follow. And I 
I saw he was launching this line. So Preston Lane has sets. So they have a kitchen set, handset, deluxe handset, deluxe kitchen set. They have candles, they have cleaning stuff. It's, it's a home care line, right? Love it, slay. So he said, Kiva, do you want PR? I said, no, I'm gonna buy it. Because I feel like, this is how I feel, I'm gonna say it honestly, if someone sends me PR and they're like a fellow content creator influencer, I feel like I have to say that it's good. Even if I'm not sharing it publicly, I feel like I don't wanna hurt their feelings. So I'd rather pay for it and let you know my actual thoughts. Well, Kiva has rendered her opinion, and are you ready to hear it? That stuff smells freaking fantastic. And honestly, if I wouldn't get in trouble with YouTube, I would not have said stuff and I wouldn't have said freaking because that's how good it is. I would have used the expletives. It smells fantastic. I find myself washing my hands for no reason. I find myself wanting to wash my body with this soap on. It's really, really good and the bottles are cute. So the really cool thing about this brand is he was like, hey, soap in really cute containers is really, really expensive. And when it's cheap in good containers, the soap sucks. So he kind of just like found the middle ground and he really hit the nail on the head. And he has, he has a new customer out of me. I'm very happy I paid for it. I'd pay for it 10 times over. I've only had my powder room done for like a few weeks now and everyone who's peed in it have been like and that's a sign that something is really good. So I endorse that brand 100%. Please don't do anything controversial after I give you my endorsement. <laughs> Next, I wanna talk pillows. So Little Design Co. I love Little Design Co. When I first did, you're like, Kiva, how many times are you gonna say bedroom renovation? Because you've done it so many times. Yes, okay, I'm indecisive. But on my, I think, second or third iteration of my bedroom makeover, I got pillows from Little Design Co. They have their own pillows. They have custom pillows. They have like Kelly Worsler pillows. They have designer pillows. They're amazing. They have every shape of pillow you want. Their inserts feel like you are on a cloud. It's amazing. They hide their pill they hide their zippers well. Everything about them is just a well-oiled machine. Now I think I bought from them on Etsy, but they also have their own website. And because they make everything like in shop, I thought it was gonna take a few weeks for me to get my pillows. I ordered them on like a Monday and I got them on a Thursday, not even a Friday. I got them on a Thursday. That's how quick everything was. The feathers didn't smell. There were no snags on any of the pillows. Those pillows were worth every single penny. And because I got an XL lumbar, because I got like an odd size, it came with the insert. Now the standard ones don't come with an insert, but the XL lumbar came with the insert. I'm pretty sure their bolsters also come with an insert. I just was super impressed at the customer service, how kind they are, how diverse their patterns and like textures and styles are. They're just kind of the whole package when it comes to a pillow company. I aspire one day to start a pillow company and they are certainly going to be my inspiration because they have kind of mastered the whole thing. Now I wanna talk about a Pittsburgh based brand, but they do ship. Um, so it's Pittsburgh World of Rugs. So I used to have a neighbor, his name was James and he works at World of Rugs. I think he's like a part owner, I don't know. But James is so good at his job that I never called him James. His name on my phone is just Rug Guy because you're like, ooh, do you have a guy for this? Do you have a guy for this? Yes, I have a rug guy. Their rugs are amazing. They import them from all around the globe, high quality, hand woven. They will roll out the rugs for you and show you the detail. They know the stories of like how some of them are woven or when they were woven. They can tell you the time period it came from because of the type of ink. I love actually buying vintage rugs. That's like the only thing vintage that I do buy. And that is the only source I feel confident going to because I know they're not gonna upsell me. They're not gonna try and sell me something that was just like machine woven uh, under the guise that is hand woven. They just have really great customer service and they also do a phenomenal job with rug cleaning. So rug cleaning is not applicable to people who don't live in the United States, but anywhere in the United States, I'm pretty sure they do ship rugs to you, which is really, really fantastic. But they do have both machine and hand woven rugs depending upon your budget and things like that. And what I always say to them is like this is my budget show me what you can do with this budget they even have like really fun scraps i've been able to get textiles from them i actually have a rug for our guest room that i did for like my course um, in there and i just i love them they're such an amazing company and they do offer rug cleaning they will come to your home pick the rug up clean it and bring it back and put it back down for you i got that done because i bought a restoration hardwood rug on facebook marketplace it was covered in candle wax it was still worth the 100 i paid i think it was originally like 6500 dollars 
They cleaned it. I think cleaning cost me like 400 bucks for a 10 by 14 rug that weighs probably 150 pounds and they've done an excellent job. There's only one little spot left and it was so fast, it was so quick, and I love that I didn't have to pick the rug, rug up because there's no way I could have done it, and I love them. Next, I wanna talk about Firm Living. I'm not sure that they're necessarily like a small business, but they're an amazing business. If you've ever seen my bathroom makeover or renovation, which I've never actually finished filming like an after video of, you can click here to check out what I have shown you, but they are the makers of that wavy towel rack. They just make really, really, avant-garde pieces that pack a punch. I think it's really rare these days that we see something that is unique, and I think that they make really unique, high-quality pieces. Um, they kind of remind me of anthropology, but elevated a little bit more. I now want to talk about Buster & Punch. So Buster & Punch is a English brand, and basically they make electrical stuff. So they make sockets, they make covers, they make toggles, they make switches, and they just look sexy. They look like the ones that they have in like a Soho house if you've ever stayed in one if you've not stayed in one that's totally fine because for some reason like they keep it really dim in there and it's really hard to see if you like have glasses though I'm very very grateful for the really nice accommodations but the toggle switches if you've ever kind of just wanted like the European like electrical look but in the United States you can get that and the thing about Buster and Punch that people didn't always love is that they had the logo on all of them but now they don't so you can have your toggle without it saying Buster and Punch they have dimmer switches and it's all very customizable so in my primary bathroom um, I had like two on a dimmer and then one that was a toggle and you're able to like do it all in one and it's really fantastic. And again, those things ship really quickly even though they're coming from Europe and it's a 10 out of 10 from Kiva. Next, I'm gonna talk about the laundress. So the laundress kind of got some heat because they had, I wanna say like staff or they had some type of bacteria in their detergent. But I will say that company was very forthcoming about what they did wrong. They were very forthcoming about how they were gonna fix it. They issued refunds to absolutely everybody. Like if I had controversy with my brand, I would wanna handle it like the laundress did. Now, all that to say, why do I like the laundress? Because their stuff actually freaking works. I feel like people will say, oh, this is free and gentle. Oh, this will get out your stains. Oh, this will do this, this will do that. And it doesn't do anything. It does diddly squat. Their stuff actually works and it's not hard on the skin. I have very sensitive skin. You've heard this, Kiva psoriasis, poor Kiva, whatever. I have very, very sensitive skin. It doesn't break my skin out. It doesn't mess up my clothes. Like I'm one of those people where I either buy my clothes only from Walmart or like from Bloomingdale's. Like there's no in between. So my really nice clothes, I used to ruin them with like my cheaper laundry detergents and this just works super well. You need very, very little of it to like get the job done. And I just feel good about using these things on my body and in my house. Like, yeah, they had the controversy, they fixed it. You don't have to shop there if you don't want to. But I also think the team is really, really kind. I've spoken with them directly before. I've worked with them before. They were one of the first brands to ever work with me as a creator. And I just kind of love how they do business and I do really enjoy their products. So yeah. Now let's talk about this one. This is Bel Arte Studio. You are getting a sneak peek at the powder room today because you're going to see their stuff. So Bell Arte Studio is a Swedish company and they make wallpaper and wall murals. I saw them in Insta, I didn't do it. I saw one of my friends do it with them. I was like, no, 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 no. This is the easiest wallpaper I've ever had to install in my life. Better than roommates, better than temp paper, better than any peel and stick variety. It was incredible. They make custom murals, custom wallpaper, they fit it to your space and they print it and they send it to you. They said allow two to three weeks, three days. I got it in three days from Sweden to Pittsburgh. The only problem I had with it was my own fault. My room was like not level, so I didn't have the right amount of wallpaper, but that was a measuring issue. That was Kiva's fault, not their fault. But I'm obsessed with the quality. I was upset that I hadn't purchased from them sooner. And relative to like pre-printed murals um, that aren't printed as well and don't give you that custom look, this is actually really affordable. I was looking at doing peel and stick wallpaper in that bathroom and this actually ended up being cheaper, including like the shipping, which I actually think was free from Sweden than it was to just get like peel and stick wallpaper from my local like Amazon place. Now I'm shouting out a friend, um, Ani Vanderbeek. She is really amazing. I met her at like an Amazon event, but she makes pillows and robes. So I'm gonna be honest, I bought the robe and I just look like Hugh Hefner in it. I think just like I robes aren't for me. It doesn't matter the brand, it just looked bad in robes, but it was so cool that I thought about like putting it in a picture frame and babe was like, that's weird. But <laughs> she also makes pillows and I just love all of her designs. Um, she puts art on pillows and on robes. They are absolutely stunning. I love them. 
and her mom is an amazing artist. I think her mom has actually done some of the prints and like the second her mom creates an Etsy shop or starts selling artwork, I'm gonna be customer number one because she's so talented. But Ani is like one of the sweetest pe people I have ever met. Um, she has a style that's very similar to mine, so definitely go check her out over on Instagram. I'll link her down below and bully her into starting a YouTube because I think she would be absolutely wonderful on YouTube. But her designs are really wonderful. The quality is great. And it's just something you don't see every day. So that's why I really love her company. Next I want to talk about Dry Home. So this is a company I found out because I posted a coupon code on Amazon and someone was like, that's a knockoff of like this really great small business. So I took it down and I was like, oh my gosh, this business is fantastic. I can't believe I haven't found them sooner. So I'm so glad that this person told me because they connected me with this brand. Basically they make things out of diatomaceous earth. We've talked about that before because it's very absorbent. So it's great as a bath mat or a coaster, but they make everything. Stuff for dogs, stuff for your dishes, coasters. Every I just love it. I love it. There are no puddles in my house anymore things to dry home. So it's a great company. Support them directly or support them on Amazon. Same thing with Vanderbeek Design. She's, I think she only sells on Amazon. She may also have Etsy, but love both of the companies. I'm so glad I was connected with Dry Home. So if you're into the diatomaceous earth and they do have different colors, go check them out because you're not gonna have any spilling or any staining anymore thanks to them. But that is it for today's video. Those are my top small businesses that I really, really love. And I think you're gonna love them too. I've linked them all down below. And I have to say that it is great to like shop convenience. I love convenient things and I'm not gonna stop. But I also encourage you to shop small businesses as well because they create some really amazing things uh, that you definitely want to get your hands on. And I will also link some of my favorite artists down below as well because those are also small businesses. And I know a lot of people like don't want to spend on art, but I think it's one of the things in the home that is most worth investing in. So I'm going to link them down below as well. But I hope you enjoyed today's video. I know it's a little bit different from what we normally do, but I hope you're walking away really excited to support these companies. If you liked today's video, please don't forget to smash that subscribe button because of course I have new videos every Monday and Friday and I'd love to have you as a member of our community. But until next time, have a beautiful day.